Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a responsive image gallery to your blogger website. Now this is the image gallery that we're going to add. I have shown you how to design this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript in my previous videos. So you can go ahead and check them out. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Let me show you how it works. When you click on any of these images, we can see that the image is being displayed over here in a light box. And uh, we have the next and the previous buttons over here and you can go to the next and the previous images. And we also have the titles of the image being displayed over here at the bottom. And then we have two buttons over here, one for closing this light box and the other button for downloading the image. So if I click on this download button, we can see that the image is being downloaded to our system. So that's how this image gallery works. So let's get started. Now this is my blogger website where we're going to add the image gallery. So let's go to the dashboard and let's create a new post and in that we will add the image gallery. So let's click on new post and I'll just give it a title of image gallery. And the next thing you have to do is go into the HTML view. So by default it will be in the compose view. So you have to click on this button and go to the HTML view. And now here we can copy the HTML. So let's go to the source code. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. So let's go ahead and copy the HTML. So let's copy everything from this H2 till the end of this division right here. And let's copy and paste it in our blogger post. Alright, now the next thing we will do is copy the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. So just type script and close the tag over here. And let's go back to our source code and let's go to the JavaScript file. And let's copy all this JavaScript from here and we'll just paste it over here inside the script tag. Alright, now the next thing we need to do is replace the link of the images. So here we can see we have this image source as images slash one.jpg. Now in our blogger website, we don't have a folder called images. So we have to first of all upload the image over here in the blogger post. And then we have to get the link of the image and paste it over here. So let's upload our images in our blogger post. So I'll just make some space over here. And we'll just click on this button called insert image and upload from computer. And let's click on choose files. So here's my project. I'll just go to the images folder. And I'll just select all the images. And let's click on open. Right, all the images have been uploaded. So let's select all the images and click on select. And we'll just select the original size. And let's click on OK. And here we can see all the images have been inserted. So let's copy the link of the first image. So this is the link of the first image. So let's copy this. So let's scroll down and here we can see this is the source of the first image. So let's delete this and paste the link over here. And I'll just quickly do the same with all the other images. Alright, I have just copied all the links of the images. And here for the light box, we also have this source. So I'll just delete this from here. Alright, that's it with the post. So let's go ahead and delete all these images from here. Now let's go ahead and publish it. And confirm. Now the last thing we need to do is add the CSS. So let's go to theme. And let's click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And let's scroll down and find the CSS of the theme. So this is all the CSS. Let's go to the end of the CSS. So here we can see this is where the CSS ends. So let's go ahead and make some space over here. And I'll just add a comment. Image gallery. And let's paste the CSS over here. So let's go back to our source code. And let's go to style.css. And here we can see we have added some styles for the H2 as well. But in our theme we already have some H2. So it will clash with the styles that we had. So we will add a class over here for the H2. So that it will target only the H2 of the image gallery. But for now let's copy all of this and let's paste it over here and let's scroll up and go to the h2 and we'll just add a class so here i'll just type image gallery title all right now let's save this theme and let's go back and we also need to add the class to our h2 so let's go back to our post and here for the h2 we'll just add a class and we'll just give it a class of image gallery title and let's update it All right now let's go ahead and see how it looks so let's click on this view post button and here we can see this is how our image gallery looks so let's go ahead and click on any of these images and the light box is being displayed but we have an issue where the buttons are not being displayed so that's because we had added font awesome in our source code 
So we have to copy the CDN of Font Awesome. So here we can see we have used the icons of Font Awesome. So let's scroll to the top. This is the link of Font Awesome. So let's copy this. And let's go back to our theme. And let's go back to Edit HTML. And here in the head section, we'll just add the Font Awesome link. So I'll just paste it over here. And let's click on Save. Now let's go back to our page and let's refresh this page. And let's click on one of these images. And we can see that everything is looking all right. We have different colors for these buttons over here, but you can go ahead and change that in the CSS. You can just target these buttons and set the color to black and it'll be all right. Or let me just show it to you. So let's go back to our theme and let's click on edit HTML and let's go to our CSS. And here we can see we have the selector for the next in the previous buttons. So let's set the color to black or let's just add 000. We also want to change the color of the close button. So here we'll just type color 000 and let's save it. Now let's go back to our post and let's refresh it. And now we can see that everything works all right. So that's basically how you add a responsive image gallery to your blogger website. Now there's one more issue with a blogger website that we cannot set an image for download. So here we can see if I click on this download button, it will take us to this page right here and then we have to go ahead and right click and click on save image as and save the image. So for blogger website, we have to upload the image to Google Drive and then we can add the download functionality directly. So for that you have to make some changes in your JavaScript as well. Now if you are using this code in any other hosting service, then you don't have any problems. The download will work all right. But for blogger website, we have to use Google Drive. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. That's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.